My robot's still around, just saying. What? Who said that? Um. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mina Sundwall, and I play Penny Robinson. I'm Maxwell Jenkins, and I play Will Robinson. Hey, I'm Toby Stevens, and I play John Robbins. My name is Ignacio Zarrique, and I play Don West. You guys probably have some questions about that ending. So, we're here to break down what you guys need to know. So, we end season three having had a triumphant victory over the robots. Yeah! We get to finally save the day and save Alpha Centauri. And we get to go to a home, not a spaceship, with a meal that doesn't come out of a bag. We only eat farm to table. And hopefully it's very boring for the Robinsons for a very long time. We're just one big happy family for now, and we'll just take a little break before all hell breaks loose again, I'm assuming. <laughs> when they realize that they forgot something back on Earth, <laughs> like really important. The phone charger. They're running out of time and the robot sacrifices himself to save Will's fake heart. And his final words to Will are, trust Will Robinson. By giving a little bit of himself to Will and putting it in his heart. That's a piece of robot. Reminds me of the movie Dragonheart with Sean Connery. Dragonheart. I give you a piece of my heart. <laughs> Flash forward to the next big fight scene and Will comes just in time with a new sound from the robots on his wrist with a new heart ready to take on Sar. And just as they're about to defeat Sar, Will remembers trust Will Robinson. Will, no! Will Robinson's heart which has a piece of the robot inside of it, reprograms SARS and turns him into the robot that we all know and love. Will's robot. Robot? I'm not gonna hurt you, so watch with the claws. <laughs> I think that what inspired Penny to save the robot is, I mean, it had nothing to do with Will. <laughs> um, even though she's not necessarily the science genius or the action hero in her family, she's always been very emotionally intelligent. When I saw her struggling, I thought about how when I need help, I have my family and I have my friends, but she didn't have anybody. And also there might've been like a little bit of jealousy over the fact that her brother had a robot for so long. My robot's still around, just saying. What, who said that? <gasps> um. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I'm, I'm you know, I, I took off on the journey with the robot at the end of this season. I'm excited to see if they find more robots out on, on the trail and bring them back to Alpha Centauri. There's a lot that you can learn about being human from watching the robots in the show. Trust Will Robinson. How do we do it now? I know that it can be very useful and it can be a great tool, but it can easily become toxic. Ignacy, come on. Too negative. Honestly, you never know. <laughs> You're all gonna get on fine. They're great. Ah! Just... <laughs> I would think it has a lot to do with the feeling of everything coming to a close and what it feels like to have gone through all those crazy adventures. I'm gonna interject here. I know it's not my book, but being the editor of the book and the publisher, <laughs> I'm hoping that there's more adventures. I wanna see the first human robot exploration unit travel the galaxies and discover more, maybe other robots, maybe other stuff. And I wanna see the Robinsons get into even more trouble. I think Don might take off and try to find his his clan, try to find his people. They've been living this really stressful life for so long. It's going to take a lot of time to get used to the fact that they're not being, there's not something trying to kill them every five minutes. So I think it'll take them a while to adapt and try not to make the mistakes that humanity made back on Earth, hopefully. One thing that I hope people will take away is let's take care of the planet because none of what they do looks fun, and it's because we can't live on Earth anymore. And if you want to avoid that, let's take care of this one. <laughs>